Now I want to keep going on with the Catholic blooper thing, but I want to switch it a little bit. You know, I, I don't like I don't like saying things that you know somebody else is wrong. I gotta balance it with something they did right, and there are certain things the Catholics get more right. I mean, they're still wrong, but they're more right than the other people. So I want to talk about that this time, okay? One of the things Catholics get really, really right is that day of Christmas. The only problem we got with Christmas is that December 25 on our calendar is really December 15th because Pope Gregory cut 10 days out of the calendar. But when he did that, he made it align with Christ's birthday. He didn't know that. He didn't really mean to do that. He didn't understand. But it's true. And remember from the very beginning when I started to do this thing about how Roman Catholic Church is founded on anti-Semitism? Yeah, well, it's due to anti-Semitism they got this day right. <laughs> <laughs> when I first found this out, I almost died, okay? But actually it wasn't me who found it out first. It was my pastor. He'd been teaching like everybody else in Protestant land. <clears throat> The Christ had to be born in the spring. It was too cold in the winter. As if that would make a difference. I mean, excuse me, lots of babies are born in the winter. Why should Christ be an exception? I mean, it's a really stupid argument. It's too cold in the winter, so he wasn't born then. He couldn't have been born on December 25th. It was too cold. Do you know how many babies are born on December 25th? So what, God's going to like single Christ out? No, I don't think so. He singled him out on the cross. He also singled him out, though, on his birthday, because his birthday, and here's where the anti-Semitism comes in, is Hanukkah. That is the, what I'm talking about now in the Magnificat videos. That's what Mary keys her whole Greek meter to Hanukkah. She picks it up. Daniel cuts off 70 years before Hanukkah. She picks up 73 years, exactly. Daniel has this little 73 meter that he uses. And she plays off Daniel's 73 meter 73 years after he leaves off in his timeline. She picks up and it's Hanukkah, the first Hanukkah, because Christ is going to be born on the 160th anniversary of Hanukkah. On it. That's what Haggai 2 is telling you. And I'm going through the synoptic videos now. I'm at 18. Probably by the time you see this video, it might be later. And I've been, I've been, you know, winding through. And I also did a whole bunch of Hanukkah videos. And I did passplot.htm. Link will be in the video description. You can read it all yourself. It's very, very um, witty how God did that. See, Hanuk Israel had two independence days. And she gets both of them wrong today. Because she screwed up her calendar. Okay. The first one is Passover, and she screws that up because she goes on lunar years. Exodus 12 is solar year cycle. That's why David designed the priesthood in a 24 hour, based on 24 hours a day. So you'd always meet the solar year and nobody would be short hours. No, no priest would work more than any other priest. Okay? <laughs> so she always gets her birthday wrong because she uses a lunar year, and God never did. He only uses the solar year. It's not even lunar solar. It's solar. 365.25 days. That's how David calculated the priesthoods. That's how I learned about it. Plus the fact that Exodus 12, just go look at it. The 14th day of this month shall always be. Okay, you aren't going to get to the 14th day of that month unless you operate on a solar year. You're going to miss your birthday. Your birthday is calculated based on a solar year or you miss it. So the Lord's birthday is also calculated on the solar year. Hanukkah. Haggai 2, 21 through 23, which Mary quotes in her Magnifica. And bases her whole meter on it in the most fantastic math I've ever seen in my life. More, more sophisticated than all of her predecessors and even more sophisticated than Paul. And Paul plays to her meter. So does Zacharias. Okay. So she had she had something on the ball, baby. Okay, 
I, 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 I couldn't be that smart in my life, Penny Dot. All right? Hanukkah. The Lord was born on Hanukkah. Now, Hanukkah used to be December 25 on the Julian calendar, and it would never have been December 25 on the Julian calendar because the Romans were more screwed up on their calendars than we ever could even dream of being. If Julius Caesar had come along and changed it to a solar year, the Romans weren't operating on a solar year. They weren't even operating on a lunar year. They were operating on calends and nones and 10-month years sometimes and 13 months. They were so screwed up. I, you, if, if you wanted to know what year it was in the Roman system, you'd have to remember the names of two consuls. Oh, that's fine for last year and next year, but what about 350 years ago? That means you have to remember 700 names which, you know, there's three names. Publius, Gaius, blah, 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 Cicatus. And then he'd have some other name if he won a battle. I mean, Romans were nuts. So their calendar was remembered by two names, of two people, each with three names. Yeah, try doing that for 350 years. Julius Caesar came along and said, ah, we got to fix this. Just in time. 44 BC is when he did it. 45, 44. Ding! Mary benchmarks him her Magnificat too. Her little history is benchmarked by phrase. So Christ was born on Hanukkah just like it says in Haggai 2 he would be. Hanukkah was December 25 on the Julian calendar fixed by Julius Caesar. The Roman calendar changed after that, and the Pope calendar changed after that, so that really December 25 would be on the Jewish calendar, the 15th. Oh, when Pope Gregory chopped off 10 days, he lined it back. I'm sure he didn't know. Because, <laughs> you see, they called it Christmas after the Saturnalia festival in Rome because they were doing everything based on Rome because they were trying to win the pagans over. And they were trying to make the Jews, you know, look like they weren't really, you know, crucial <laughs> to the story. We got preserved it all in Haggai too. You can go read it yourself or watch my videos on the synoptics. Because I'm covering all that. So they got it right. Even though they... I don't know how they got it. They, they came up with it initially. They surely didn't know about Haggai too. I mean, you know, they didn't even know the difference between a high Sabbath and a regular Sabbath. But they did get the date right. They did get December 25 right. So, when you see Christmas Eve, it is Christmas Eve. Because God uses a solar calendar. And, you know, there's some drift over the centuries. But, honey, you know, within 24 or 48 hours, you're right in there. Okay, so throw out all that garbage. Says, oh, Christ had to be born in the spring because it's too warm. I've known quite a few snowy marches, haven't you? In that part of the year, John 10, 28. No one will pluck him out of my hand, that verse. You know what day that was when he said that? It was his birthday. It was Hanukkah. He's standing around outside the temple, and the Jews pick up stones to throw them at him, so it couldn't have been too cold now, could it? 